This is Lyra, a small constellation visible annually in the Northern Hemisphere, usually from April to August. It contains one of the brightest stars in the night sky called Vega, which is located approximately 25 light years away from Earth. The reason why I'm telling you all this is because right now, as you are watching this video, the area around Vega appears to be generating the Lyrid's meteor shower. This astronomical event is actually visible every year, and you can observe the peak of the Lyrid's on April 22nd, 2023. Therefore, carry on watching this video if you want to know how to observe up to 20 shooting stars per hour of this ancient meteor shower. Will be very interesting. Hi there, Mikhail is here. As I said earlier, during the peak, the meteor shower will produce up to 20 meteors per hour. But obviously, these shooting stars are not stars in reality, and they're actually caused by the debris of a comet called Thatcher. This comet orbits the Sun once every 415 years and leaves behind a dust trail. When Earth passes through this dust trail, the comet debris enters our atmosphere and generates the Lyrid's meteor shower. That's how basically every meteor shower is produced, but if you happen to see a real star flying in the sky, I would call this an apocalypse. The comet that produces the meteor shower was actually discovered in 1861 by this handsome astronomer, but the meteor shower itself is one of the oldest known in the world. According to NASA, the first recorded sighting of a Lyrid meteor shower goes back to 687 BC by the Chinese astronomers. If you manage to observe the Lyrids yourself, then you'll be looking at something that has been not just seen, but documented by humans for thousands of years. However, even if you miss the peak on April 22nd, the shower will still be visible all the way until April 25th. Yes, the Lyrids may not be as magnificent as during the peak, but at least from my experience, seeing just one shooting star is certainly worth it. So how to see this fascinating astronomical event? And first, the golden rule of astronomy and observing the meteor showers is that you need to get as far as possible from the city lights. However, I know that for a lot of people, including myself, it's a little bit problematic to go outside the city. So you may be able to stay in a light polluted area and still see a few meteors. In order to behold the meteor shower inside a city, find a dark side far from the center of light pollution, such as a remote park. Second, do not forget to bring warm clothing, something to sit or lay on, and maybe a hot drink, cause spring nights in northern latitudes are still pretty cold. While you're waiting for stars to start shooting, you can also subscribe to a very interesting channel. Third, spend at least from 10 to 15 minutes without using any sources of light, such as your smartphone. That's because your eyes need to adapt to the darkness so that you can see even the most faint meteors. You can actually buy a red flashlight beforehand because red sources of light are fine for doing astronomy. Red light does not affect night vision as much as white light and it won't significantly disrupt the process of dark adaptation. The best time to observe the Lyrid's meteor shower starts roughly after midnight when the radiant appears to be at its highest point in the night sky. Remember I mentioned Vega at the beginning of the video? The radiant is located close to that star, but it doesn't mean that you need to look directly at it. The constellation actually serves as a way to determine which shower is taking place right now. Meteors can be seen in any part of the night sky, so it's best to look directly at the zenith, since you can see the entirety of the meteor shower. The shower will last until dawn, but I would personally not recommend observing it for more than an hour because you can get cold or simply bored. Also, another thing that can happen to you, especially if you're sitting in a chair and observing the meteor shower like that, is that your neck will start hurting severely. That's what actually happened to me last time when I observed the meteor shower. According to the NASA website, the Lyrids actually produced as many as 100 meteors per hour 
on a variety of occasions. It happened in the 19th century, in the 20th century, and it may happen in the 21st century. However, it's almost impossible to predict if a similar heavy shower will occur this year, because most of the time the lyrics generate no more than 20 shooting stars per hour. Therefore, I personally would not expect the meteor shower to be bursting this year, but who knows? The only way to find out is to see the meteor shower yourself. Finally, if you don't manage to see any meteors at all, that's perfectly fine. Lyrids aren't even the most active meteor shower of the year, so you can just wait for the next meteor shower, such as the Perseids, which will take place this August and will produce almost 100 meteors per hour. In the meantime, find a dark spot away from the city lights and be prepared to observe one of the fascinating astronomical events of the year. If you manage to take pictures of the lyrics, you can always share them on our Discord server. Link in the description. Because sometimes the pictures from the Discord server are getting uploaded to this YouTube channel. In any case, thank you for watching very interesting videos. Bye.